the, the chain CPI is based on the purchasing habits of Americans in general or you know, urban wage earners in general. It's not focused on the purchasing habits of seniors. We have the experimental CPIE, which is a non-chain weighted uh, price index that focuses on the, the sort of the basket of goods most commonly bought by people who are over age 65. The CPIE generally shows inflation of about 0.2 percentage points higher than the CPIW, which is currently used for Social Security COLAs. The, the chain-weighted CPI generally shows uh, inflation about 0.3 uh, percentage points lower. So you could say, well, let's just do, I mean, if I wanted to do a correct price index for, for seniors, I would do some sort of chain-weighted version of the CPIE. Uh, uh, a price index that focuses on the on the, the things that, that retirees buy, but accounts for the substitution that can go on. Now, if you just sort of net these two values out, you'd say, well, the chain weighted CPIE might come in at you know zero point one uh, percentage points below the um, the CPIW, but that's that's not quite correct. I mean, you have to account for the 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 degree to which different groups substitute goods. And I just have not seen any good research that looks at this. It's all doable of looking at consumer expenditure survey and saying, okay, how, how do folks change their buying habits? I can think of reasons why seniors might substitute less. I can think of reasons why they might substitute more. The answer is we just don't really know. Um, but I think it's if somebody feels like doing a research project, I think looking at that kind of measure uh, for retirees, you may end up with something that's not a heck of a lot different than what we currently have, but at least you know, you know, you know where you stand.